Hey everyone, everyone. Welcome, welcome back, back to Five Minute Eats News. Fast Food Fridays here on Five Minute Eats, which means that every Friday at 11 p.m. Central, you can tune in and find a new fast food review from us. And today we have got an American classic, I feel like. This is the KFC original chicken. I think that that's, yeah, original recipe chicken is like technically the thing. Now they have extra crispy, they've got like hot and spicy and they've got grilled. But this is the OG. This is like the chicken that the we were raised on. The kernels secret spices and Yes. Uh, is it like 11 herbs and spices yeah, something or something? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Yes. Now, I feel like we were all pretty much like raised in the era of like the KFC bucket. So, only thing is, dude, I actually don't think I've ever had the KFC chicken. Really? At yeah. all? Ever? Because growing up, if we did go to KFC, I had the popcorn chicken. Oh, yeah. wow. But a year ago, or I think two years ago, we tried the KFC pot oh. pie. Oh, and the pot pie, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And the chicken sandwich and the pot pie. Yeah. Um, both were good. Yes, I was exactly. really surprised. Now, here's the thing. Today, when I went there, uh -oh. um, I pulled up and there was only one person in the drive-thru. Nobody, no cars in the parking lot. Oh, I thought, boy. oh man. This is not a good and sign. And this is like lunchtime. This is prime, like deep lunchtime. Yeah. Hmm. I was like, boy, oh boy, this is not good. Oh my God, I gotta tell you, man, there was a sweet uh, Filipino grandma working behind Aww. the counter. Sweet lady, she was really nice. Um, I guess uh, Filipinos would call her Nana. I think They're it's Nana, Lola. Right? Or Lola? Lola. Yeah, yeah, because how do we know Lola this from? Lola and Lolo, I, th yeah. I think. I think I know from, it from uh, 90 Blues. Day Fiance. Oh, really? <laughs> and I, Blue's and Clues, Blue's both. Clues. <laughs> yeah, I know it from Blue's Clues. But what is it? Lola. Lola, yeah. I think. Man, she was sweet. She was on her game and um, rest made me feel rest assured. That, assured. Yeah, oh. that everything. Yeah, that everything was gonna be you know good. That's the opposite of a of a fast food yes, Friday yes. story typically. Yeah. So that's a good sign. It is. So. I'm excited, but I'm also kind of like, damn, the original recipe is kind of thin on the crisp factor. So this was $9.89. Oh, it yeah. In, it included um, two breasts, a wing, and then a biscuit and mashed potatoes. Yes. We're just doing the chicken. Yeah. Um, and here's the thing, man. I got to tell you, because for $9.89, I feel like you get a, you get a lot of food. Mm -hmm. And for my drink, I did go with the Colonel's Lemonade. Oh, really? How was that? Was, I feel bad because oh. here's the thing: the Colonel's lemonade is actually in the fountain machine. Uh -huh. And is it the the minutes lemonade? <laughs> no, this is a Pepsi. So oh, okay. it's whatever Pepsi's uh, lemonade is. Uh -huh. But they rebranded it the the Colonel's lemonade, which oh, wow. I feel is an insult because <laughs> that Southern gentleman would never. He'd be rolling in his. Yeah, <laughs> it would be freshly made. I will say the box that this came in was, was a behemoth. It was beautiful. It, yes, it. it's a big boy. When they gave me the box, the, the bag, I was like, oh my God, what is this? Did I order this? Catering. Yeah. Did I get catered? Makes me maybe think I should have just gone with the bucket. Oh. Yeah, oh. should have done the bucket. Actually, now, uh, you know what? Um, if this works out, maybe we'll, that's what we'll is do. Is this like the a slippery bucket. slope? Yeah. This is how you, you get into the bucket of chaos. And guys, if you're new to our channel, basically, we review everyday grocery items. So before you spend your harder money, let us tell you if it's worth it. Um, it smells good. It does smell good. And, and you know what? And, and it's big. <laughs> it's big. It's juicy looking. Yeah. Like, I think it looks pretty good. I'm kind of excited. Let's go. If you'd like to support this channel, the easiest way to do that is using our Amazon links the next time you shop there. All right, guys. Welcome back to our rating system. Thumbs up right again. Thumbs down what we not. So for me, this is a thumbs up. So really shocked by this. The reason is, um, I was thinking, can it really compete with Popeyes? Mm -hmm. Surprisingly, all those 11 herbs and spices, pack a punch. Huh. It was very good and it was juicy. I, you know, you and I went back and forth on which, which one to get, because mm -hmm. you were saying, you were pushing for the original. And I was thinking maybe the hot and spicy or the mm -hmm. extra crispy mm -hmm. and I was thinking, well, dude, I don't know, man, because mm -hmm. that, uh, you know, because I like the, the crispy. I would like the crispy, too. I'd just like to but, say I went with the original because I figured we got to do the OG first. Yeah. Like, we have to have a baseline yeah. for which to compare the other iterations. And you know what? I'm not complaining because this turned out really good. I love the, the crispiness, 
There's a lot of meat on this thing, which was really shocking. And it's seasoned really well. Um, it's got like a nice saltiness, like a nice oiliness to it, which I really enjoyed. Mm -hmm. I think this is like, uh, I feel bad. Everyone is in love with Popeyes, but like, I think KFC does do a good job on fried chicken. Mm -hmm. And I almost feel like it's, it's, it's really sad that like young people want chicken sandwiches. Yeah. Because maybe like, um, if they would give fried chicken, like bone-in fried chicken chance, mm -hmm. I think they would really dig it, you know? Yeah. So for me, thumbs up. If you like what we're doing here, please consider sending us super thanks. It helps us continue to provide more amazing content. Okay, so for me, this one is going to be a thumbs. That was a very dramatic yeah. drop of the cliff. A thumbs down. Really? Now, with that being said, Everything south of the skin was good. Like the chicken itself, the meat of the chicken, very tender, juicy, like super flavorful. It does have like kind of like a salty brininess to it. Like it has like a, a nice flavor to the actual meat of the chicken, which is oftentimes what is hard to get because you'll have like some flavor on the outside, but then the chicken itself yeah. is just bland. This chicken, like, cause usually if I'm having like a chicken breast like this or something, I'll usually just like dip it in like barbecue or ketchup or Chick-fil-A sauce, just something to get it like some, some other stuff going on. But yeah. I feel like this actual chicken is good enough that you don't even really need a dip with it. Like, yeah, I agree. it's flavorful enough on its own. My issue is the original recipe wow, skin. Wow, oh wow. Dude, now, I was debating more between the original and the double crispy thingy because normally I want crispy crispy, but I felt like we needed Yeah, the because original. I would say Popeyes is more crispy. Crispy, yeah. exactly. This is very old school and to me, um I did not love how parts of the skin still have like some jiggle wiggle yeah. to them, you know? Like like the the breading wasn't crispy enough to like crisp up all that skin too. So I don't like it whenever you get those like kind of gelatinous pieces of skin that are yeah. kind of slithering down your throat. So for me, that killed it. I think if it was in a crispier meat skin, um, I would like it a lot more. So I'm looking forward to trying the, so, the extra crispy. <laughs> um, you want more of a lady coat. Um, yeah, yes, I would like, I would like them to rub the lotion in the skin and then fry it up real good. Now, um, they did ask me if I want a dark or white. Uh -huh. So I went with the white. Uh -huh. And, um, you know. I mean, I think that tracks. Yeah. 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 And I actually, I'm, I'm impressed. I think KOC men, you know, it's popular in China. Yeah. In, in, in Asia and, and stuff and like that. And Korea. Yeah. The South of the Korea. Yeah, South Korea and stuff. And if Japan. North Koreans could try it, they would oh, like well, it Oh, I'm too. sure yeah. they would, you yeah. know. Yeah. I think KOC <laughs> here in America is uh, underrated. Yeah, you know, I think I it, agree. I think that they don't get as much. You know what? They're kind of like the Walmart of the fast food. Like yeah. people look down on them. They they're like, that's a little too country. It's a little hillbilly. You Which know? is funny because years ago it used to be Popeyes. Exactly. Around here in Chicago, it's always like in the more rougher neighborhoods, right? Popeyes now it's like Popeyes won the social media marketing yeah. wars. Now can they keep it up? To sum it up, thumbs down, thumbs up. And if you guys buy from Amazon, use our Amazon link. The reason is when you do that, we get 10 cents, 50 cents, possibly even a dollar, which means we can continue to review things. All right, guys, that's the video. If you like what we're doing here, definitely check out our other channel, Food Prep Inc. And don't forget to give us a like and subscribe.